In the beginning, I was just a fragrance junkie. I marveled at the power of scent to reach deep into our subconscious and to make us happy or sad, energized or sleepy. I worked out quite quickly that even if we don't realize it, we are always subconsciously aware of ambient smells. If a room smells good, we feel good. If it smells bad, we feel tense. Then I got more interested in the subject. I began writing about fragrance and travel the globe, meeting some of the world's greatest perfumers and understanding the science behind scent. For the first season of Custom Made, we went to Old Delhi, we found one of the city's oldest perfume houses and we got them to design a vetiver fragrance for me. For our second season, however, I wanted to go further. I wanted to do an entire episode devoted only to fragrance. I wanted to feature India's best perfumers, to understand the Hyderabad School of Perfumery and to explore the link between smell and taste. I discovered that Bangalore has become the center of modern Indian perfumery. Many of the new perfumers are young people. They come from families with roots in the agarbatti industry. Having grown up with Indian perfume materials, these young people went to France and worked with great European perfumers. They now understand the techniques of the Western fragrance industry. My intention was to get these young perfumers to design bespoke perfumes and ambient fragrances for me. But I soon learned that they were not willing to do this on a whim. They saw themselves as psychologists who would first understand my nature and then create fragrances that they believed would reflect my personality. Kiran Ranga, who runs Ripple Fragrances and has an impressive shop in Bangalore, has worked with shops and hotels to create fragrances that subtly but effectively alter the environment to make it seem more luxurious and more relaxed. One of the things you do, which I think people don't realize, is often when you enter, say, a hotel lobby or a shop, not only is it air-conditioned, it has a sort of vaguely luxurious smell. Mm -hmm. and I think people don't necessarily realize that often those smells are created by people like you. Absolutely. Explain that to me. Um, when you walk into a hotel, um, what, what a consumer is looking for mm -hmm. is you know, a sense of security when they walk into a hotel. They want a refreshing ambience. We create fragrances based on the customer's brief. So your job then, as a fragrance expert, is to create that sensory ambiance that knows what your nose senses for the hotel. Absolutely. So there's a fair amount of psychology involved. As a creative perfumer, what you're looking at is the art of creating different emotions. Now let me tell you about myself. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of perfuming my spaces. If I go into a hotel room, I take a candle that I light it. At home, I sleep every night with a fragrance candle. If I have guests at home, I would put candles on. So I'm kind of into fragrance. What I want, therefore, is something that takes the environment around me, takes the air around me, and gives me a pleasing aroma that is me. Mm -hmm. That's possible? It's absolutely possible. Um, what I would like to do is I would like to start by asking a couple of questions which will help me understand the kind of experience you would want to okay, have. So ask me. Uh, what adjectives you would use to describe this fragrance? I'd want it to be sophisticated. I'd want it to be warm. I'd want it to be relaxing. Is there any visual imagery that you would associate with this fragrance? Soft materials, pillows, feathers, fluffy stuff, a certain amount of leather, and I don't know, something that's secure, ice cream. All right, great. Um, what I will do is I will have to go back and work on uh, a few fragrances based on the brief that you've given me. Okay, so here's what I suggest we do. Why don't you come up with smells? And we do them just to smell, say three, four options, maybe three of smells that you think I would like. Mm -hmm. Let me agree that I like them, maybe we can tweak them, and then we take it forward. Absolutely. How long will it take? It'll take about three days. That's it? Yeah. Kiran went off to create the fragrance, but I had to meet Ali Martin, one of India's best regarded young perfumers. Ali had already sent me a detailed questionnaire about my life, so by the time we finally met, she knew me as well as any psychoanalyst was likely to. I had wanted a personal fragrance, but I ended up with psychoanalysis. I remember when I first wrote to you and I first said I want to do this, you sent me this very complicated questionnaire about fragrance. That's part of the process? That is part of the process. The questionnaire helps understand what you want to achieve 
through the fragrance journey that you are going to embark on. And you've done some? I've done some for you. Tell me about them. From your questionnaire, what we got was that you wanted to be elegant and sophisticated, but there were some memories that were important to you. Yeah. For example, the smell of the sea. Right. You also did talk about leather. Yeah. So those are things that we tried to put into the fragrance. Okay. And they're all very different because there was so much actually coming out of your brief. Shall we go through the first one? All right, okay. okay. This is lovely, it's very nice. So here, also because we spoke about your childhood and yeah. your, you said that Coca-Cola was a thing from your childhood right. and you wanted to have a little bit of that with your journalistic career where you write pencil with pencil lead, lead. and pink. Yeah. So this is essentially what we've tried to capture here. It's a very unusual fragrance. It's nothing like the sort of commercial fragrances you get in the shops. Okay. Yeah. Then we tried. This is more commercial. Yeah, so I did aim for a woody musk, but it does have some lighter citrus. It's nice, I like it. I mean, it's got a very sort of seductive smell to it. The woody musk is meant to signify warm, sophisticated and sexy. I wasn't wrong, all right. It's not as unusual as number one, but it's more instantly appealing. So here, what we tried to achieve was a little bit of everything else that we've spoken about. We've done a fruity floral, spicy leather, an animalic base. I like that first one and I like the third one. First and third. Oh, well, that's good. The process of creating a bespoke fragrance usually involves the perfumer presenting his or her submissions. Then, the client smells them and makes suggestions. The fragrance that eventually emerges is a cross between the perfumer's sense of what is right for the client and the client's own preferences. Can we go with number one and add a few of the ingredients from number, number three. three? Yes, we can. That's do possible. That. That's possible. Great. So we we'll go with one, with a little bit of variation in the base notes from three, the more attractive elements. And how long will it take? About four to eight weeks. All right. Great. Thank you, Annie. Okay. Thanks so much. <laughs> but before I went back to Delhi, I decided to check with Kiran. It had been three days. Had he managed to come up with an ambient fragrance that suited my personality? Hi, how are you? Doing good. How's it been going? Yep, I had You've some time. Something. You've got something already. What do we have? We have uh, three fragrances here for you. Okay. This is a Shipray Woody fragrance. When you smell this, you have the ambience of a woody and earthy kind of a fragrance. This is nice. All right. Okay. The other fragrance that I have for you is a Shipra leathery kind of a note. This fragrance is warm, spicy, and it is also uh, very luxurious. It's lovely. It's yeah. very, very nice. Final one that I have for you is an oriental sweet kind of a fragrance. This is for the person who loves the finer things in life. You can smell on top the floral notes. But not sort of obvious jasmine floral. It's not very jasmine. And on the base, you have a lot of vanilla. Yes, I like a lot. Okay. Now, I don't quite know what to do because I think you have stumped me. All three are so good. <sighs> what would you choose if you were? This is very difficult. For me personally, I would, I would go with the, uh, the shipper Woody. Woody. How will you deliver it? What will you do with it? I'd like candles. Is that possible? Yeah, I can get these made in candles for you. That is so cool. I've never actually heard of a custom-made candle with a fragrance that just fills the air is wonderful. How long will that take now? This is going to take about, about a week. Okay. So on my next visit. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much.